Hello, everybody, and welcome to what is my most hyped game of 2023, Final Fantasy 16. Now, I'm going to I paused on this screen because we are actually starting with the demo. And here's why. This demo features several chapters of Final Fantasy 16's first act. All saved progress can be carried over to the main game. We hope you enjoy your time in Valisthea. That doesn't explicitly say that this is the intro to the game. I know that sounds dumb, but when you think about it, I don't know if there's going to be anything in the final version of the game that provides any further context. I don't know if there's going to be a different opening cutscene. Um, but I wanted to get a head start on things. I figured if this is the beginning of the game, let's start with the demo. Why not? It's the intro, it's the opening. When the game comes out, I will restart a game if I can and just see if there's anything else that gets added. If it's one to one, hey, we're all good. If not, I'll, I'll figure something out. But let's not, why not use the demo as sort of an early access build to jump into Final Fantasy 16 a couple of days early? So, uh, as of right now, Final Fantasy 16 doesn't come out for another couple of days. Uh, it is the 16th, so it doesn't come out until. Um, the 22nd, I think. So we're going to get started on the demo and see what happens. Now, I've already played the demo. Uh, most of it. I did not finish the demo. Um, I watched my wife play too a little bit, but we're going to start from scratch on the demo. We're going to go brand new. Uh, let's actually check our config. Target lock toggle. That looks good. Okay, it saved everything from before. So my settings appear to be, appear to be where I need them to be. Frame brightness. I prioritize frame rate. The game looks gorgeous either way. We'll say that. Should be good. Okay. New game. Oh, we'll go. I don't. We're recording this. It's always a little darker on YouTube. Let's go there. Let's go seven. Uh, and you guys let me know if you think things are too dark. We'll, we'll brighten it up if we need to. Visual alerts. On-screen waveform that provides visual representation of in-game sounds music. No. Uh, we're going to go action-focused. And that should be good. All right. Yes, I am super, super excited, and this demo is awesome. Chronicler who said, uh, excited to share it with you. Excited to get started a little early. In the light of the mother crystals. But here we go. And that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. So we got Phoenix and Ifrit. This opening, <clears throat> when I when I played this the first time, I'm like, all right, this is. This is an interesting way to kick off the game, especially uh, especially when you kick in the, the interesting gameplay mechanics like firing fireballs. Um, but that's okay, you know. Hey, action pack, baby. So right now we are Phoenix firing at Ifrit, falling down the Balrog hole from Lord of the Rings. I thought that too, and I wasn't going to say anything uh, until uh, my wife played it last night. She's like, oh, this is just the Balrog scene. I'm like, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> it, it totally is, isn't it? And if you don't believe me, uh, hang, hang tight for just a second when it becomes damn near shot for shot. See? It looks like a pretty epic fight. 
not gonna lie. I just realized Ifrit and Phoenix are both very much fire based. That would be a that's an interesting that's an interesting matchup. Phoenix has the advantage, I think, with the with the res. Year of the Realm 873. The Nisa Defile, the Dalca Dalmechian Republic. And I will apologize. I am still fighting a little bit of a cold and bad air quality. Uh, I'm feeling better, but I still have a little <laughs> in my chest. We'll get through it. It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else. Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Let's get this done. I typically have to use way more water to put out any bonfires I have. I guess it's magic water. This game looks amazing from a visual perspective. So this is only available on PS5. Um, made specifically for Focus, next slash current gen hardware. This mission success. And my God, yes, sir. does it look good? Okay, so we are in control. I said focus, or not? Wyvern. I have the camera. Now we are in control. L to move, R to move camera. Uh, I just want to, I, it, it's still a little bit dark on my end. Uh, main menu up in the, okay, got it. That's how menus work. I'm gonna see if I can, uh, screen brightness. It just seems still a little, got the UI brightness all the way up. I don't wanna go too far, but it does still seem a little dark. I'm gonna go up to nine. Press start. At any time outside of cutscene, open the main menu. Okay. Gameplay settings. Got it. But look at this. Look at that. That is that is stunning. Okay, hold on. I might have to mess with my sensitivity. I think I have it. Eh. We'll get used to it. Just looks so good. Alright, this is my top speed. That's why the game's so long. Uh, but I am a ha I, like if you guys have, have never seen any of my content. Uh, well, to be fair, I guess I don't have a lot of content uh, for Final Fantasy. But Final Fantasy is my favorite game series ever. Um, it truly is. Final Fantasy VII is uh, probably my favorite game of all time. The original. Uh, I enjoy a remake, just not as much as the original. Uh, I'm looking forward to Rebirth. Um, I love JRPGs. I play all kinds of them. Uh, and if this is your first time here, hi, welcome, hello. Thank you for, for popping in and checking this out. We are trying to get to the uh, monetization level, which just yesterday, the Republican Army front lines, just yesterday moved it to 500 subs. So if you guys enjoy this uh, and you want to help me out, we're only uh, 50 sub subs away from, from hitting that goal. So uh, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much if you, if you do. We'll be doing the full playthrough of the game. I will be being, it's, I'm not going to call it a 100% playthrough, but I'm going to be as, as as thorough as I can be. And I'll probably be releasing a video a day. That, that's my goal. I got some life things that are, are up in the air right now. Uh, we just had a we just had a daughter uh, a month ago, a month, month ago today, actually. She's one month old today. I have a five-year-old son as well. He'll be five in a couple weeks. Um, and there's potential, uh, you know, job-related things here on the horizon, so. Um, 
My goal is to do one a day, Monday through Friday, but we'll see what happens. Where this is going, they won't need this new dominant of theirs. What? The Zernitra stronghold, the Nisa defied. Quickly, move! What do you mean you refuse? Did you not pledge your swords to our cause? There is a lot of story in this demo. Come now, Marshal. The King of Walud is our guest. But it's good. And you have his majesty's answer. <sighs> Here's a swallow of water. summoned us at all have you so little faith in your own men it was the Dalmex who drove back the crusaders in the battle of the twin realms was it not or am i mistaken was it not and Besides, am i mistaken aren't they the same thing your dominant has yet to take the field And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? The capital will lie exposed. I wouldn't yell at a man of his size. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. It'd be more like, repeat that kind, sir. Hmm? With all due respect. Man who could literally eat me. Which just leaves me. Kopka! The Iron Blood will rule the day they set foot on storm. This game is over. So this first episode, by the way, uh, just so you know, this it will be stuff that I've seen. <clears throat> I think when we get into the second episode, we might touch on some thumps and things that I haven't seen yet. Uh, I did not complete the demo. The demo is about to, supposed to be about two and a half hours. So <laughs> it should take us right into release day if I'm if I'm if I math appropriately. <laughs> <sighs> take care. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? Or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedicta. Awkward. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. You guys clearly were on opposite sides of the table. Um, but I don't know. It seems like a spicy affair. The front lines are gone. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. I also just realized I did not math right. The 22nd is not Tuesday like I thought it was. I think it's Thursday. So 
that's weird that a game is releasing on Thursday, but you know what? We'll make do. If there's a couple of days with no content, that's that's them's the breaks. Um, looks I just again the game looks stunning. I I can't get enough of just staring at stuff. Buttery smooth on uh, performance mode. Uh, or frame rate mode. I will say, also, um, I did play it a little bit on graphic mode, which I never really do because I don't like 30 FPS. It's too jarring to me. But the 30 FPS, for some reason in this game, feels smoother than other games. Maybe I'm crazy, but... To me, it was less jarring to play graphically, or with, with graphics as the focus. Something's not right. So damn epic. So the Darmaks finally grew tired of being slaughtered. Ha! And look who's here to greet the bastard. Come on. So awesome. He looks like Titan's Titan looks amazing. She was cool too. My third time seeing this, and it's just glorious to look at. You don't get to die here, Wyvern. Move! Yikes. Alright, so because the benefit of having played this, I know that there's really there's there's nothing to really explore in this area, so we're just gonna kinda mainline our way through this. <clears throat> Very bouncy. Very bouncy. Can I turn camera shake off? I don't know if I can. I don't like camera shake in games. Hold on. Can I? I'm just going to check quick. Uh... Again. No dice. Okay. I'm sure it's not that bad. Really, that was more of a cutscene than anything. Who's gonna stand there? Apes.
smushed. Wyvern! Wyvern! I told you before, you do not get to die here. Would you believe me if I said it wasn't really my intention? Brother. See, now he says that. Does he mean like actual brother? <clears throat> or does he mean like brother of the Night's Watch? Which I get a real Night's Watch vibe from these guys. Thirteen summers earlier, year of the realm, 860. Rosalith, the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. Well, if you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stables. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right? Go on, you're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. <laughs> Cute dog. Two arms. It wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. Ever since Chrono Trigger, any game that leads you off with a wooden sword automatically gets extra bonus points in my book. I just, I don't know, there's something about it just starting with a wood sword and like building up from there that I love. Revisit combat training. We will do combat training just to show it off in the demo. It's, it's quick and breezy, and Come. I'm not going to say that I was form. super good at it anyways. Attack the Lord Commander. Execute a force-win combo. All right, melee attacks. Press square to perform a melee attack. Up to four attacks can be chained together. Hiya, 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 hiya. Do it again. That's incomplete. I'm very good very at this good. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. Come, Clive. Rain fire down upon me. Such a thing to say, like, in jovial. Set me alight. Uh, press triangle to cast fire, a ranged spell that can strike enemies from great distances. Stop moving. Well done. You wield the Firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? <laughs> Boo. Arranged. Let's see if you can elude my blade. After all. Your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. The one thing I did notice is that the, the oh, fire magic uh, seemingly does far less uh, damage than uh, attacking with your weapon. Okay, R1 to evade an enemy's attack. This is like, this is confusing for me. This is like, this is a difficult... I want it to be circle, but I, it's not. Uh, evading an attack at the precise moment it is dealt will temporarily slow the enemy, making it more susceptible to a counter using square or triangle. And L1 is lock on. And it's a toggle. Good. Move only when I you am must. Incredibly shifty. Precision dodge. Good. So L1 locks on, R1 dodges. That's a little bit. Remember, Clive, That's your blade is not your only weapon. Something I have to adjust to. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix. Granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on me. Well, I'm waiting. <clears throat> uh, 
Execute a Phoenix shift, Phoenix shift three times. So iconic feats. The blessing of the Phoenix grants Clive the ability to perform feats of inhuman strength and dexterity. Phoenix shift is one such iconic feat. Press a uh, circle to swiftly close in on a distant target. Shift attack. Both melee and ranged attacks can be used while executing a Phoenix shift. All right, so toggle. Okay, so. Okay, we just need to shift. We don't need to attack right now. There we go. Pretty easy tutorial, but. But even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. Use potions to fully restore HP. Consumable items such as potions and tonics can be used to restore Clive's HP uh, or temporarily boost attributes. Item shortcuts. Consumables can be assigned to up, right, or down, but not left, just noticed, uh, via the items tab in the main menu for quick and convenient use. These items can be used directly from the menu. I wonder what left is saved for. Uh, okay. Use potion. We'll use another potion. That's better. It does make me feel really good about myself. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments, wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory, or at the very least, to ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. It's time for the test. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. Don't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought you'd do this. Ask. Full of puns. Come then, Lord Rossfield. Spar with me. If you believe yourself worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. As you wish, my lord. Again, I'm trying to catch every cough, so if I disappear for a moment, that's why. How that, me boy. Make proof of All your right. strength. Let's rumble. Final lesson. Defeat the Lord Commander. Breaking an opponent's will. The will gauge indicates an opponent's will to fight back. Break their spirit by landing attacks and strike them when they are vulnerable. Go on, you're sure to beat him this time. You can do it, Look at that, I already, I already forgot what I was doing. Oh man, I'm, it's, R1 to dodge is just gonna, it's gonna kill me. That wasn't very good. Again, I kept hitting L1, and it is, uh, I just, I, it's, I've got to force that into my brain. Staggering your enemies. Lord Murdoch's will has been broken, leaving him staggered. Try dealing as much damage as you can before he regains his senses. Use R2 and square to execute Rising Flames, a powerful iconic ability granted Clive, granted Clive by the blessing of the Phoenix. Oh yeah. I took my own advice and used all the tools at my disposal. Go on, Clive. Keep pressing. Just a little more. Yeah, so let's see here. Magic does 10. Landing an attack does 98. Farewell. So, yeah. The magic is not super strong and almost just, I mean, I guess it's ranged. So that's might be a good enough reason to use it, but he won. See, I told you he could do it. I. <sighs> Bested at last. It's taken me long enough. That was a display worthy of your father. You are a true shield of the flame, and let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. Worthy of your father, except all the times you forgot how to dodge. 
Ignore those steps. Back to your drills. That's our first little taste of combat. Like I said, it's, it's just some... Your typical action RPGs, it's a little, um... It's just, the, the controls are a little bit different. So that's that'll be the biggest thing for me, is just... Getting out the old stuff and depositing the new. Joshua. I was just tired. The Phoenix's flames are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <coughs> That's why. You were coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. I'll be fine. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. Tell me about it. His grace has returned! Father's back! Hey! <laughs> Your Grace, please, uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Never heard that word before in my your life. Grace, we live to serve. Indefagatable. Indef, indef, indeg, in, infidegatable. Indefagatable. Infidegatable? I don't know what it was. I already lost it. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. Her Sorry. eyes are a little different. But I wonder Good day to you, mother. It's not Benedicta in the future, is it? Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. He's cold. Hmm. No. Murdoch. I don't think so. Your Grace. I think the face is different. I was wondering that the first time I played the demo. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. We should join them. So our mother hates us, clearly, but it seems like we have the support of the troops. They both respect us and seemingly pity us. Ah, uh, pity might not be the right word. Sympathize? Empathize? Empathize. Those are cool chocobos. Rise, my friends. Welcome home, Father. Thank you, Joshua. You are well, I trust. Yes, Father. Much better. Today, Jill and I went to the bay to watch Clive spa. Is that so? Quiet, Toro. Stop it, boy. Not now. You'll make a fine hound one day. The Father. cutest little buddy. Lift up your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. Capital rejoices at your safe return, Your Grace. War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, Father. Your Grace. Hmm. Shields dismissed! Oh, 
you're going hmm? Clive here is off to see the Archduke right I'm very concerned about what happens to that pupper not gonna lie one of those things that might keep me up at night sunrise sunset finding your way should you find yourself lost do not fret hold down l3 and trust in your animal instinct to point you in the right direction. Your current destination will be, will be displayed with a red thing. Is trouble brewing? Okay. I'm not sure. I need to speak with father. We're going to hunt around a little bit. There are some items to grab and things like that, so we'll uh we'll see what we can see what we can find. There's obviously one right here. And and you can talk to some NPCs. This stuff before the Duchess calls for our heads. And then you'll also just overhear conversations. There we go. Finding items. Useful items can be found across the realm by those who know where to look. Items discovered can be viewed on the items tab in the main menu. All right. I think our menu is different now. There it is. The attributes tab provides a comprehensive overview of Clive's current level, status, abilities, and gear. So let's take a look at the journal. <clears throat> the journal tab contains information on main story progress as well as all current and completed side quests. The sunrise and set. As the duchy readies itself for war with the Iron Kingdom, its most bitter and long-standing of rivals, so too does Clive prepare to do his duty as first shield of Rosaria, to protect and serve his brother Joshua, dominant of the Phoenix. Make for the throne room. Interesting. So, Pride. It is the year 860, and with the coming of spring does Green once again return to the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. In the Baileys of Rosalith Castle, men who have sworn their swords to the country train in anticipation of coming conflict. It is here that one young man in particular endeavors to prove himself worthy to the ones he loves. Uh, I think I'm reading these backwards. Uh, a flame summoned. The night burns red as twin titans clash. Dressed in flame, they vie for dominance. Okay, this was the Phoenix Ifrit. Uh, one a beacon of hope, the other an aberration, an affront to the very laws of nature. There's no room in this world for both, for there can... Okay, there can be only one icon of fire. Okay. So the thought about the, the two fire icons, or, or fire property, whatever, uh, that's a justifiable thought. As dawn breaks over the Nisa defile in the 873rd year of the Valisthean calendar, the armies of Dalmechia and the Iron Kingdom gather, and their icons, Titan of the Republic and Shiva of the Orthodoxy, make ready to take the field. Meanwhile, high above it all, a small party of branded assassins survey the battlefield like hawks in search of prey. Cool, I'm going to try to keep up on those and try to, you know, recap what I can when I see it, so... The items tab contains lists of all non-gear items currently in Clive's possession, including those used in quests. Consumable items such as potions can be used at any time from this tab. Assigning shortcuts. Items can be assigned to shortcuts for quick access during gameplay. Select an item from the consumables list and press square to bring up the shortcut menu after confirming the blah 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 blah. Okay. How to equip items. Got it. Shield Ensign. A brazen seal received by all Ducal shields upon completion of their accolade. May the blessing of the crystals go with us and shield the Firebird's flames forevermore. Sure. Attributes. Got it. So just our stats. Look at this. They brought it back. From 15. The little pixel art characters. Gear and icons. The gear and icons tab is used for equipping weapons and armor as well as assigning iconic abilities to available slots. I don't have anything to equip. So these are optional items that the game starts with. The Ring of Timely Focus. Clearly the Darkest of Arts were employed in the Ring's forging. Yet no matter its infernal providence, it does effectively slow time and can, that can prove very handy in staying alive. When equipped, time slows before an evadable enemy attack strikes Clive. No effect when equipped with a Ring of Timely Evasion. Okay. I don't think I'm going to use any of these. Uh, when equipped, Clive will automatically evade attacks as long as the attack can be evaded. So this is a way to simplify things. If you're having trouble with the combat, these are things that you might want to look at maybe applying. When equipped, complex ability combinations can be executed by simply pressing square. When equipped, Clive will automatically use a portion a potion when his HP falls below a certain point. Potions will be used before high potions. Okay, that feels risky that all my potions would go away. 
Uh, fleetness of foot requires lightning, quick reflexes, eagle-like vision, and razor sharp focus, not to mention the calves of a puma. <laughs> that or this convenient ring. Okay. Looks good. I'm not going to equip any of those, like I said. I like the descriptions exist for every weapon. And the rest of that is system. Okay, now let's wander around. We'll head to our, our location at some point here. We're going to hunt around here. It's what item back there. Make sure all the crystals are accounted for. And we'll talk to whoever we can. But again, a lot of the conversations happen us or them. without us triggering them. They're just conversations that we stumble into and overhear. But not all of them, like this guy. Forgive me, my lord, but I need to finish inspecting these crystals. Wouldn't do to give our soldiers spent shards. And I think it's just a single line. Forgive me, my lord, yeah. but I need to finish inspecting these crystals. You put on quite the show for us, Lord Rossfield. Any man who can do that deserves to be first shield. Age and experience be damned. Agreed. Uh, let's not go up there yet. Let's just take a look at what's going on over here. Phoenix will be with us. Those savages. Those savages. Make sure you get a good edge. You know, I do need to slow the camera down a little bit. It's it's just it's it's a little jarring for me. Yeah, that's better. I don't know why. I think it started at maybe it started at two. Preparation is key. Nothing down there but rats and rogues, my lord. Mm, dungeon. Okay. Instead of going up that way, let's uh, <clears throat> head up here. All right. And there isn't really a sprint button that I've seen yet, so this is kind of the fastest you can move. All right. You move. You move quick enough, and it gives you a chance to take in the world. <clears throat> so he's got the brand from the. Assassins from the beginning. Good as new. Uh, 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 Curious to learn more about that. Lord Marquess, pray do not concern yourself with this bungling car. Bow to him, you fool. Uh, 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 I say to speak. It was no trouble, really. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why, Three. neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Stand, please. Stand. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. I'm glad Clive is a good person. Do we all, my lord. A good, uh, a good do we all. authority figure, and not a Come jerk. Along now. Back to your duties. Back in control. Looks like they're getting ready for supper. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. Can I talk to you? Why can't I talk to you? There we go. Oh. I'm having my bearer fill the well, my lord. Best to save what crystals we can, eh? Not sure I understand what that means yet in the context of the world, but. 
here's the item we saw before. Fine display, my lord. Almost felt sorry for the Lord Commander. Okay, I think we got everything we need. We can push forward. Nice and quiet in here, isn't it? This game is just gorgeous. God, it looks good. I cannot wait to see... There's Joshua. Um... Just everything this game has going on. I just that is one of the one of the one of the things that I absolutely adore about Final Fantasy games is that they're always there's there's always like visually they're always just they have some some element that's just stunning to look at. to help them but I don't know if I can don't worry Joshua father will guide you and I will protect you always I know thank you Clive that child is the future of our nation he must be protected all other concerns are insignificant Making an effort. <clears throat> Some large gates and stiff levers require extra effort to operate. Use X to access them, then hold R2 to push or pull with all your might. Okay. I don't know, kind of weird that that needed a tutorial, but... <clears throat> Listen, I guess if we gotta push hard, we gotta know how. Equivalent of, like, lift with your legs, not with your back. Good luck. Commanded my presence, Your Grace. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. Your mother isn't here. Do I like the king. Do fare any better? Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. By the flames. Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the Deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. The Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua Shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. My guess is these goblins are a threat to... 
Uh, Rosalia? It is time to prove your strength. And shut your mother up for good. Hmm? <clears throat> I will do my duty, Your Grace. That will be all. Rest well. We ride at dawn. Yes, Your Grace. Active time lore. Hold uh, the touchpad to access the active time lore uh, Atlanta feature. A compilation of important information relevant to Clive's current storyline progression. ATL can even be viewed during most cutscenes. All ATL entries can be accessed later in the game. Let's take a look. Rosalith Castle. I guess it's Rosalith, not Rosalia. Situated in the heart of the Ducal capital of Rosalith, it is from this towering ivory fortress that the Archduke and his family rule their nation. An architectural feat the founder himself would be proud of. The castle has stood since the early days of the duchy and watched over the rise of this proud nation and the people who inhabit the city beneath. Uh, the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. Okay, I, had it, I just had it twisted. The nation occupying the western reaches of the continent of Storm. The Rosalith as its cat with Rosalith as its capital. Rosaria was originally formed from a collection of smaller dominions, all of which now stand united under the banner of Archduke Elwyn Rosfield. Not possessing a mother crystal of its own, the duchy has long been locked in bitter conflict with the Iron Kingdom over possession of Drake's Breath, which lies still further to the west in the midst of the boiling sea. Sounds nice. We should go there. Elwyn Rosefield, Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria and father to Clive and Joshua, loved by his people for his steadfast leadership both at home and on the battlefield, which he put to good effect in quelling the rebellious northern territories. The Iron Kingdom. <clears throat> uh, what is dead may never die. Uh, also known in, in the local tongue as... Uh-huh. Her... 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 Uh, the Iron Kingdom is an archipelago nation situated off the west coast of Storm with its capital at Craig Loisgd. Woof. That's just somebody fell asleep on their keyboard there. The Mother Crystal, Drake's Breath, rises from a volca volcanic island situated just within or without its borders, depending on whom you ask, and has been the subject of long-standing conflict between the Iron Blood and the neighboring Duchy of Rosaria. The Iron Kingdom's inhabitants shun any contact with outsiders, which has given rise to a unique, if largely inward-looking, culture. And the Mother Crystals. Enormous glassy mountains, five of which tower over the lands of Valisthea. I hope I'm saying that right. Valisthea? I'm not, I have to hear them say it. Um, they are the source of all the crystals that the people of the Twins rely on in their everyday lives. Not only that, but the lands surrounding them are rich with ether, making the magics the crystal cast, crystals cast even more potent. For these reasons, great nations have sprung up around each mother crystal and have long warred with each other for possession of their blessings. Um, I will say, by the way, uh, I have been looking forward to this game for a very long time, so I have gone media blackout. There's like trailers and a bunch of stuff and, and everything that you could probably look at that'll, you know, that this is that could be repeating things that are out there. This is all new to me, uh, other than the demo that I've already played. Um, but I have not seen anything, so so that's, that's just how I approach games that I'm very excited about. It isn't only for control of the Mother Crystal. Above all else, we cannot allow those Ironblood savages to gain a foothold on Storm. I know. I would sooner die than see them darken our shores again. I wish you a safe journey tomorrow. And I you, Clive. May your blade strike true. We drove the Ironblood from our shores once before. But their patriarch still dreams of spreading his message to Storm. And when the Crusaders march, they move a damn sight quicker than the Blight ever did. So we recapture the Mother Crystal, end their ambitions, and secure the Duchy. Only the light of the Phoenix can guide us through these dark days. But that does not mean I'm happy asking this of Joshua. Look after him, won't you? Even if it costs me my life. Let's make sure it doesn't come to that. Fair. 
Uh, okay, I just finally glanced over to make sure I'm not covering any elements of the UI, but I think we're good. Right, we have to go to the other side, but I just, I don't remember if there was anything up here. Kind of a sad little jump. Me. <laughs> Joshua's not out there anymore. This is one of them there good looking video games. I love it. No messages, my lord. How long will you be away this time? Not long. Four days, maybe five. And you will be taking Joshua? Well, I can't exactly leave him behind, can I? The blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins. Before going to war, we perform the rite at Phoenix Gate. It's our way. You know that. And only the dominant can enter the apothecary, so yes. I'm taking Joshua. Oh, to hell with your way! The boy is ill. You think I don't know that? But the boy is also the phoenix. The heir to the throne. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Elwyn! Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. Though he is a youth of but 15 years, He's already a fine soldier. He will make a splendid shield. Five is 15. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. Our household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless. A man like any other. Oh, she sucks. God, you suck so much. As I hate I, you. My dear. <laughs> Nonsense. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Oh, not this again. You know as well as I do that I only sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. I am merely warming the seat till Joshua comes of age. You are your father's firstborn son, and you sit upon the throne. All is in its right place. Unlike some, you have not disgraced our noble blood. Can't stand her. Without men like Clive to keep us safe, your precious noble blood would long since have graced the gutter. As much as I dislike her, I like the yeah, king that much start. more. Elwyn. I'm going to sleep. Legend. See, she like like her face like that. I get the Benedicta vibes. That's why I'm like, is she gonna become like? Is she Benedicta? I don't know her name. They haven't said her name. I just, I think the facial structure is too far off. I don't think it's her. This is it then. Time to prove yourself. Wishing on a star. I'm a little old for that. I should get some sleep. Right. You're going with them tomorrow, aren't you? I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. He takes too many risks. I only wish I could save him from himself. For a 15 year old, that kid has hit puberty. You got a deeper voice than I do. I have another mission too. Father has given me my first command. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return, I shall just have to do it for you.
You're leaking. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Since coming here, I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. But it never really ends, does it? No. The next war will be bigger than before. But you'll be alright, won't you, Clive? You're a shield of Rosaria, after all, and blessed by the Phoenix. Do it, you coward. So, she is... We should go in. I can't think of the word. Um... Good night, Clive. She's not a... Not a... Not a prisoner. Not a hostage. But it seems like... It seems like she's a... Like, a, like, it's, like there's an arrangement. Um, cause she's, she's not from this kingdom. I think her name is Jill. I think they said Jill earlier. I gotta, I don't know. I have to see. But I wonder if she's like intended to marry Clive or maybe intended to marry Joshua or something like, like an arranged, uh, marriage like that. I don't know. I'm curious. Yeah. We won't be hunting today. Rosia. Good name. Good name for a chocobo. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll do brilliantly. Mm, I'll try. <laughs> Good luck. Friends, we ride for Phoenix Gate. May the blessing of the crystals go with us and shield the fireless flame forever. His grace departs. Open the gates. By the way, these episodes will typically be around an hour. Um, this one, I'm going to be at the mercy of some of these cutscenes, though, because some of them are lengthy. So, uh, but just let you know, going forward. Allow me. I shall see her safely to Phoenix Gate. Thank we'll you. try to keep them around an hour. Uh, but again, I won't, I'll try not to make it too awkward of cutoffs. We're ready to depart, my lord. I wanted so badly for these guys to be named Biggs and Wedge. An honor it is to serve alongside you. They're not. This is to be no mere investigation. If there are goblins in Stillwind, they won't leave willingly. The beastmen are a fierce foe. We underestimate them at our peril. Not today, we won't. Sir Wade, Sir Tyler, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. As you command. To the marshes, then. And may the blessing of the crystals go with us. If they're not going to do Biggs and Wedge, I wish they'd done, like, like, I don't know. Gibbs and Sledge. I don't know. It's dumb. World map displayed all uh, the world map displays all the locations indicated by glowing pins currently available to Clive via fast travel. Okay, so we can head to Stillwind. Can I? Is, is how, how, I don't know when saving is happening. Stillwind. There was a time not long ago that the songs of civilization echoed through Stillwind's knotted bows. Now the settlements lie abandoned, and the only sounds to escape this forsaken place are the howls of beasts that have fled the Deadlands to make the bogs their home. Um, 
and this is where we'll pick up next time. So we're gonna be doing uh, as many episodes as we can of the demo. And then when the game releases on the 22nd, we'll pick up right from there. But again, like I said, when the game releases, I'm gonna start over just to make sure there's nothing essential that is thrown into the mix um, beforehand. If there is, we'll just cover it when that time comes. But uh, if you guys are looking forward to this playthrough and you wanna see more, let me know. Um, I, I, I mean, it's not gonna change whether or not I do it, but I at least like to know if you're interested. Uh, don't forget to sub to the channel. Uh, I would appreciate that, especially now that the uh, the limits on um, monetization have been re reduced from 1,000 subscribers to 500. We're knocking on the door all of a sudden. So uh, that would be uh, super duper helpful. I would appreciate it so much. So, uh, but yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of the video and we will uh, we'll talk soon. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.